During humanitarian crises, children are often the first victims and pay the highest price. Child protection actors have a strong track record of implementing secondary and tertiary prevention strategies in these situations. Secondary prevention addresses a specific threat and or vulnerabilities of children identified as being at high risk of harm, whilst tertiary prevention targets individual children who have experienced harm and aims to reduce the longer-term impact of that harm on the child, as well as lessening the chance of recurring harm. However, insufficient investment has been made in primary prevention. Primary prevention prevents harm before it happens at large scale by addressing the root causes of harm at the population level. Primary prevention is critical in humanitarian settings for three main reasons. Firstly, there is an ethical responsibility to prevent harm to children whenever possible. It is neither appropriate nor in the interest of the child to wait for harm that is preventable to occur before we act. Secondly, investing in primary prevention reduces the resources needed in secondary and tertiary prevention as well as remedial interventions in the future, improving sustainability and the long-term impact of humanitarian responses. Finally, primary prevention leads to increased cost-effectiveness of child protection interventions, enabling resources to go further. Data from other sectors such as public health and education demonstrate that early preventative interventions are more effective and cost-effective than attempts to compensate for inaction later. To find out more about child protection in humanitarian action, please visit the Alliance for Child Protection in Humanitarian Action website.